so I'm gonna have to clip the top and uh Alrighty, that's good. I'm just gonna kind of walk it down. I'm gonna do the other one over there right now. Hey everybody, this is Saul Castaneda. I should say, I'm Saul Castaneda, and you're not. <laughs> this is uh, Saul Castaneda from MCSC Green Wheels, man. And we are here with our 1986 4-Ride LX Notch. And uh, we're gonna drop this rear end today because we're not gonna use it anymore. It is trash. We are going to come in here with the MCSC rear end treatment. So we're going to give it a brand new rear end with uh, 8.8, 7.7, uh, 373 gear in there. And you know, the do the work that we do. 31 spline, the rear disc rotors, and all that good yin yang. So what we're going to do right now, man, we're going to drop the rear end here. And let's, uh, let's see if it goes safely. Remember, safety third, coffee first. All right, and so a lot of times you can get these off. This is a 15 millimeter. So I'm just going to use some vice grips, grab the top right here. I should put that in first because you see it spins. So, happens often, no big deal. Sometimes you could just use the socket and it'll come right out. And sometimes you can't. There it is. Now the reason I say safety because once, as these come down, this, uh, these shocks kind of hold the rear end of the differential to the body. The lower control arms are in the front. They kind of attach up front over there. So what's going to happen, the springs are going to go down. So you just want to be careful. That's why I'm doing it one at a time. Because we have this bad boy up on all fours. So last thing you want is one of those things just popping off and hitting you. Because last time I checked, it didn't feel good. Now you see it, now you don't. Get it there. Now I have a I have my jack down there too. So it's kind of a safety. See how shock's coming down. Your spring's starting to bow. So that's why I'm telling you guys, just be careful. I have my I have a good you know my jack is not fully on there because I don't want it I don't want the springs to pop and shoot the car up I want it to go I want it to push down on the on the jack itself so let it go a little more actually I'm gonna go a lot more and then I'm gonna see if the, the spring will catch up to it because again I don't want this to bounce off ricochet off or something like that someone get hurt just be careful guys Now it's it's a little loose. I'm gonna go to the other side, but see now it's sitting on my jack. So what I'm gonna do, bring it down just a little bit more. Just because the other side is gonna you know bounce off too, so I'm actually gonna do that right there. Now I can start to drop in my control arms. So we're gonna start off with the upper control arms. It's gonna help just swing it back down further. And then the springs will come out nice and easy. That was the biggest thing. So the shocks kind of hold everything in place. Let's get these control arms off. These are top notch shocks here. Hold on, let me put it up. There we go, oh, never mind. I'll just leave it alone. All right, let me get some more tools. Oh, we not connected. You want to make sure that your brake lines are no longer connected. Ours is cut off, so no worries. We're not going to use any of this old stuff. This is going to get a new differential. We're going to get it all nice and powder coated out with our buddies over at All Star Coating. Mr. Goggin, we're coming your way. And uh, at the same time, while that's getting all done, along with the braking system, you know, the calipers and all that good stuff, it's getting done with it. We're going to be done underneath here. And as you can see, we've attacked it a little bit with some uh, rust killing. You know, some of that uh, beautiful, beautiful stuff from Rustoleum, that rust dissolver stuff. If you let it sit on there quite a little bit, kind of this is what happens to it. So you can kind of flake it off. So we're going to come back in here, scuff all this down, and get it ready for some primer and, uh, you know, maybe some paint. But also, what we're going to do once we get this all cleaned up, 
we're gonna get ready for our uh, stiffer setup. So we're gonna have uh, do our installation of our uh, our frame uh, uh, connectors. So stay tuned for those videos as well. Let's get started. On there and attack this other one. I have a I have an 18 millimeter socket and an 18 millimeter wrench. So you're gonna see this thing shift over a little bit because that means that other spring's gonna, you know, the controller's letting go. tension on here but as long as you're not moving it too much you should be pretty good as you can tell it's not too tough because it's still giving me room to, to play with it but just be real careful and that's two now I'm gonna let this thing down springs out and now we're only four volts away removal of your emergency brakes we're set to go it's just a little metal clip just push in the little edges and off it comes Let's see for this one Oh yeah, but it's gonna work. 
this here. Can you hand me the, the sockets over there? Can you see that one? Whoa. I guess it wants to be on there. Swing it all the way around the back. Okay. Nope. So now that we have the car up here in the air, as you guys can see, it shifts, so you just got to be careful because it's ridiculously light. There is no engine in this thing. We already took off all the way from the front, so we don't have a front cross member because of course we're going with our maximum motorsport setup for our barrel swap. So just be careful, man, if you need, you know, I'm using hand tools again. Try and be respectful to these neighbors. All oh, they get to hear me is grunt. Point, it's basically floating so you guys best to be careful so I'm pulling out this bolt hopefully I can get it Grocery Gator differential up for sale, boys and girls. Thousand firm. We know what we have. That broke free.
I was just thinking of asking Rachel, hey. Control, I'm done. Uh, uh, yo. You want to try it? Right. Did we lift it? What? Wait, should I? I can't go off the support, right? It's right here. It's right where right, the front. From the top? From the bottom. Okay. Are you ready? One, two, three. Fuck. I let the body. It's, it's, it's just it's, it's still heavy. Yeah. It moves, but it's a bad grip right here. It's heavy. Yeah, we but can I mean, get it. Side by side, then. We can get it. <laughs> Not that. So, yeah. So what you guys saw us do pretty much right now, we just tore off the rear end to this thing. We're not going to be using that. We are We got something already set up that's going into powder coating. So your next couple videos you guys will be catching, you'll be seeing us going to over all-star powder coating and yours truly maybe powder coating. So done it before, not a bad deal. It's pretty easy. So we are going to go see you, Mr. Goggin. And then uh, basically what we're doing, we just tore off the rear end so we can uh, go ahead and start cleaning it up. We're doing the, that to the front because we already took our front support, our front cross member off of here. So we have no suspension on this car. So what we basically have here is just the frame. Um, right now what we're going to do also as well is get, get ready because we have the Stifler uh, cro uh, frame connectors already set up that we're going to go ahead and install those. So stay tuned for the next couple videos guys. And uh, hey, everybody on YouTube and on our Facebook and on our Instagram, thank you very much, guys. I hope you like what we're putting out here. Give us a couple comments, leave us some likes, tell us what we did wrong, because we're pretty sure we did. And you know what? Keep liking it, keep subscribing. Thank you, everyone. Guys, subscribe, subscribe. Next video's coming up. Thanks a lot. See you soon.